the name of the fan is Sandor Spinton Goleman. Uh, I'm Isaac, and uh, uh, God has called all of us, and He has called us for a purpose, and for the purpose of God to to be fulfilled in us, we have to carry out an assignment that God has given unto us. Uh, we serve here at Raya Kids as personally I'm a volunteer teacher and uh, what I've found best is to serve God through the kids. We serve God through this, uh, the kids from the streets whereby we, 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 we take them, we stay with them, we, we, we teach them uh, for an informal education and also we teach them the word of God because we strongly believe that only the word of God can can change their mind and also their behavior and their code of conduct. Uh, when God is, is, is calling us, he says that he has called us for a purpose. He has called us for an assignment to carry. And serving God, God in different ways, like serving God through the kids, is one of the ways in which God can use to fulfill our purpose. Like if we look at the scriptures, there are so many people who are called and they had to carry an assignment. So any person that God has called, he must do or she must do something. Wherever you are, in any country that you are, God has called you to serve him. And you can start serving God wherever you are. Wherever you are, in the church, even outside the church, in where you stay, you can start serving God. Even outside, you can go into places. And the Bible says that, that Jesus is promising and he's saying that I will be with you until the end of age. Meaning that in any place that you go, because like people have had this this uh, misconception that if I go outside where like I'm born, like if I go outside my country, outside is not safe. So people who think that only in their places there is safety. But once Jesus is promising that that go any place, go anywhere, and I will be with you. He's promising that even your safety, nothing will happen to you. If you are in need, he will provide. It's, it is not a must that you have something in hand. It's when that now God will, will, will help. No, anything that you have, even you have nothing but, but, but you have a willing heart to go outside and serve. Start it even today. Because God wants to use us, all of us, any time that you, you have made a statement and you, you have that desire so that you can help somebody to achieve his goal or his objective. We have here kids who, like, before they were desperate, if, 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 if you'll tell a kid, like, like I want, you, you, whom do you want to become? No kid was ready, like, to say, I want to become a doctor and I want to become so-and-so. But at the moment, through the information that we have instilled in them, they have been transformed. And some of them are now confessing that I want to become an accountant. I want to become a manager. I want to become so-and-so. And God is using them, using us as a vessel to help them. And it is a challenge to all of us, to any person, a young girl, a young boy, single or married. You are called to serve God. And there are so many differences. You can devote your time. You can devote everything. You can commit yourself just to serve God in, in any way like. Going for visitation, going for pray, praying for like us here, like we need more prayers, and we pray, and even we have, have we have instilled this into our kids that for them to succeed, prayer is the, is, is the first thing they need to pray, and therefore even all of us, any person need to pray so that God can be our guide and protector. As you are coming out like to assist, like to do the, the work of Christ because Christ is commissioning his disciples and is telling him, go ye therefore. Go ye therefore. He's telling us, go ye therefore, preaching the gospel, baptizing in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And he's saying, as long as you go, that is the first thing that you need, you need to do. You must be willing to go. We need people who can come and help us have the kids. But not only to come, even wherever you are, you can begin serving God through the people around you, through the people around you. And Christ will always provide everything that you need. He will provide in different ways. Through even, he, may, he will give you more life 
and anything that you desire because the bible says that seek ye first the kingdom of god in righteousness and all things shall be added unto you the moment we serve god and serving god is the best thing to do in the whole world people are looking for money people are looking for things but that is not the best thing the best thing is to commit ourselves for christ to serve god to give ourselves the moment we'll carry out an assignment that god has given to us not looking at the positions that we have in the church and even outside the church then god will provide for us there are people there are men in the bible who carried an assignment like god is speaking to ezekiel he's talking with ezekiel asking ezekiel can these bones bones come to life and ezekiel is saying god you know mean that ezekiel surrendered everything to god ezekiel did not know the outcome of what will come but because he said god you know god knew everything but also ezekiel had to carry out an assignment he had to speak out he had to confess and he confessed positively what happens at the end of the story we get that the bones came to life and it was like a big army that was a miracle the results was positive. Why? Ezekiel confessed positive and he surrendered everything to God. Even us, as you serve outside there, in whatever you do, in any country that you go, leave everything to God. Somebody is saying there is no visa. Somebody is saying there is no passport. Somebody will say, I don't have somebody where I'm, I'm going there. There is nobody will take care of. No. The moment you leave everything, to God he's saying in in Philippians 1 6 that he who began a good things he will bring it unto accomplishment whatever God has begun in you he will bring it into accomplishion and we, we say that challenges are there, are there yes challenges are there and God works through that God takes us through the challenge so that he can bring us to be to to be good people and better persons Paul is encouraging the church in Romans in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 and this is what uh, Paul is telling them that for I know not not for I know but he's saying that that everything worketh together for good everything worketh together for good challenges are there those things are working together for you even as you go outside you will meet challenges but they are working together for you so we should not look at the situations and the circumstances around us I wish to challenge somebody go out Commit your time to Christ. Go out, preach the gospel. Go out, serve the Lord. Go out. It is your time. This is the right time. There is no right. There is no time for us. This is the best time that we need to go out, leave our own kunizim, leave all our comfort zone, and we see souls coming to Christ. Because this was a way that when when we serve the kids, we see we, we bring them close to Christ. We teach them the Bible. Some of them are now reading the Bible. Some can stand and and interpret the scriptures and before they could not do that before they used to take drugs now they are not taking drugs and it is only through prayers and motivational speaking giving giving, giving motivational talks to them uh, advising them counseling them not only here but that is what what we do we encourage them and this is what christ was. christ is jesus is saying that let the children come to me for as such is the kingdom of heaven for as such is the kingdom of God. So, we, and this is why we are dedicating, I'm dedicating my life to Cyprus. Yes, I have a goal that I want to achieve. One day running an organization that will, will also support kids, will also support children, will also bring kids close to Christ, will bring children close to Christ, whereby we, 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 we do things for the glory of God. And the name of the Lord shall be glorified. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen.